Welcome everyone, this is True Powers Mind and this is a special report. <clears throat> Today I want to talk about all the technological advancements that have been occurring. Basically, why at this point it is a wrap. Uh, <clears throat> the uh, forecast for global unity is pretty dismal, folks. Looks like people are, are basically th straying away from unity and um, resorting back to typical tribalism. So, without further ado, you know, uh, let's just get right into it the food a lot of our food has already been debased I mean um, if you look right here I just do a search for the human embryonic kidney 293 and this is what Wikipedia I guess has to say about it so we'll just see HEK 293 cells were generated in 1973 by transfection of cultures of normal human embryonic kidney cells with sheared adenovirus 5 DNA in Alex van der Ebb's laboratory in Leiden, the Netherlands. The cells were obtained from a single, apparently healthy, legally aborted fetus under Dutch law. The identity of the parent and the reason for the abortion are unknown. 1. The cells were cultured by van der E. Flat. The transfection by adenovirus was performed by Frank Graham, a postdoc in van der Ebb's lab. They were published in 1977 after Graham left Leiden for McMaster University. 2. They are called HEK since they originated in human embryonic kidney cultures. While the number 293 came from Graham's habit of numbering his experiments, the original HEK 293 cell clone was from his 293rd experiment. Graham performed the transfection a total of eight times, obtaining just one clone of cells that were cultured for several months. After presumably adapting to tissue culture, cells from this clone developed into the relatively stable HEK 293 line. Subsequent analysis has shown that the transformation was brought about by inserting approximately 4.5 kilobases from the left arm of the viral genome, which became incorporated into human chromosome 19. 3. For many years it was assumed that HEK 293 cells were generated by transformation of either a fibroblastic endothelial or epithelial cell, all of which are abundant in kidneys. However, the original adenovirus transformation was inefficient, suggesting that the cell that finally produced the HEK-293 line may have been unusual in some fashion. Graham and co-workers provided evidence that HEK-293 cells and other human cell lines generated by adenovirus transformation of human embryonic kidney cells have many properties of immature neurons suggesting that the adenovirus preferentially transformed a neuronal lineage cell in the original kidney culture. 4. A comprehensive study of the genomes and transcriptomes of HEK-293 and 5. Derivative cell lines compared the HEK-293 transcriptome with that of human kidney adrenal, pituitary and central nervous tissue. 5. The HEK-293 pattern most closely resembled that of adrenal cells, which have many neuronal properties. Given the location of the adrenal gland, adrenal means, next to the kidney, a few adrenal cells could plausibly have appeared in an embryonic kidney-derived culture, and could be preferentially transformed by adenovirus. Adenoviruses transform neuronal lineage cells much more efficiently than typical human kidney epithelial cells. 4. An embryonic adrenal precursor cell therefore seems the most likely origin cell of the... Alright, <clears throat> I didn't want to carry on with that. That <clears throat> started to even lose me and I'm making the video. Now, the whole thing, the reason why I point this out is not so much what it is, it's when it was made. 1973. They were already manufacturing these products from human cells. And that should just ask one, why did they choose humans? How come they didn't choose other animals? They could have took the cell off of anything, but they specifically chose a human being. Now, that in itself isn't bad. But now, as all the information come out to light about uh, certain secret societies and their end goals, you, you kind of ask yourself, you got to ask yourself, so 
let's just do it right here. And I'm just gonna go up here. Oh, it's all right here. Uh, it's in food. Oh, okay. And here's Snopes. It's almost. Oh, uh, this is the Pepsi slash. Food companies caught using aborted fetuses. <clears throat> mm, no, no, but let's go back. Now, this article looks. How cells from aborted fetuses are used to create novel flavor enhancers. Hopefully, you guys can see that, but you probably can't. <clears throat> Hold on, I will give you the link. Uh, this is from Mercola. I don't know who. Oh come on! This is some funny website. I don't, I don't like websites with a ton of pop-ups. <clears throat> oh, these guys are propaganda. Oh my gosh! Let's see what's going on here. Meet Marcy. Marcy is a masterful marketer for a mid-sized business, but her time. To it stands for Human Embryonic Kidney 293 Cells. Now there's a couple synonyms for it also, and actually you can buy it off the internet. Originally, what's he saying? Heek is up with Heek 293. Hold on, <clears throat> I just want to see this real quick. December 12, 2012. What the heek is up with heek 293? Heek is actually human embryonic tissue through kidney cells. It stands for human embryonic kidney 293 cells. Now there's a couple synonyms for it also. I don't see it. Aspartame. Let's just stop right there. The only thing I see right here, <clears throat> and we can break this down, is aspartame. You know, uh, that is uh, known bacteria feces. All right. And then uh, this must be the Diet Coke or, or the Diet Pepsi or whatever. But let's go on. You can buy it off the internet. Originally, it was generated. In 1973. Yeah, we already know that. For the abortion. Are no if you see here, the or organism is Homo sapiens human tissue embryonic kidney. If you see here for the organism, it's a Homo sapiens. Okay. This is what I want to show you, I think. <laughs> Cinomix. The topic of this video. Cinomex is an American biological tech company working towards developing no virus. Endo virus oh still God. on their own. Okay, well, we're just getting a lot of repeat stuff. Basically, people, food's been the base. You know, we can go into the GMO aspect, but uh, there's some food for thought. Just do your own research, you know, for uh, for your own sake. You know, I think, like, the best thing that a lot of us can do is learn a lot of the old ways uh, as far as preserving meat, preserving, uh, preserving food, making uh, medicines on the fly or whatever. You know, little elixirs. I shouldn't say medication because I'm not a doctor and, and I wouldn't uh, try to give any type of medical advice. <clears throat> but, 
that's what it is. Ten minutes are up. Chemical company.